good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another tinkercad circuit project so let's get cracking friends today we're going to use that 555 timer chip to make a sweet set of blinking lights of course your first step is to visit tinkercad i always choose sign in with google when you launch you'll see 3d designs and circuits we are going to create a new circuit hit the plus sign and choose circuit my first step is to name it. I'm going to put RR for railroad and I'll put my initials. We are going to bring out a breadboard. Set it right about here. Bring out a battery. We need to take the battery and rotate it. Notice this is the plus side. So we're going to connect it to that rail. I like to keep my wires color coded. So that one will be red. Now I'm going to click over here and we're going to connect this to the negative. And of course we're going to switch it to black. Now in this project, we are going to make LEDs flash just like they're on a railroad. Bring out two of them and let's drop them in 22 and 23. And let's drop them in 20 and 21. Take the second one and rotate it so its wires are the opposite way. We also need to bring out a resistor. When you drop it in, rotate it so that it goes with the wires. And we'll just set it up here for later. We're going to copy it and change its values further along in the project. We also need a 555 timer. So go up to search and then drag your 555 timer out onto the board. I'm gonna line it up with number 10, just so it's easier to talk about the pins as we put them all together. We also need to search for a capacitor. I want you to type CAP. And instead of this capacitor, we want the polarized capacitor. And then we need to take this little fella and we need to rotate him as well because we want the negative leg actually connected to pin one. I need you to click now on your capacitor. If it doesn't pop that up the first time, click white space, click it again, and then we need to change it to 10 instead of one. All right, friends, it's time to adjust some resistors. Click the white, then the resistor, and then when the resistance pops up, I want you to type 6.8 and press enter. I then need you to grab this and connect it to pin 8. These go like this. The dot shows you 1. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now that one's connected to pin 8. We're going to click on it again and do Control c and then Control v to set it back down. So now we've got two of these. We need a total of four, so do Control v again and just set it below it, and Control v again so that we've got all four. Now we need to change our measurements. So click on the first one. Sometimes you have to click somewhere else, then click it to get your measurements. And this one's going to be 33.2. And press Enter. Click on the next one. If it lets you go right in, that's fine. Switch to ohms and make it 220. And then I'm going to click on it again, and I'm going to also make it 220. And you need to switch to ohms. Now you've got your resistors set. Let me show you where they go. The 33K is going to connect to pin 7, and then it'll have one out here dangling. The 220 ohm, they're both going to connect to pin 3, but we can't do them both the same way. So we're going to put one on pin 3, and we're going to put the other one out here on pin 18. This one's going to go from pin 3, and the wire is going to connect to the back leg or to the anode of this resistor. I'm going to click on that wire and I'm going to make it the color orange so that way it shows up different. And then I'm going to click up here. I'm going to switch to the color yellow. Let's go to our pin 3 and I'm going to go down here under the 12. See how this lets the wire bend? And then from this leg, we're going to come up here and click and connect to the cathode. So each LED is the opposite of the other. Friends, let's finish up our LEDs by clicking out here and switching to the green wire. We need to click the cathode of this LED all the way out here to pin one. The way I like to do it is to come down close to this edge and then bend it and then sneak it through. It just looks kind of nifty. The anode of this one needs to connect to pin eight. I'm gonna once again bend it down and snake it up so that way we can see all the other holes. Let's once again click up here to cancel what we are clicking and let's switch this time to the color turquoise. We need to come out here to this resistor and notice this leg is not connected. It's supposed to be on pin 7. So we're just going to go straight along and connect it to pin 7. We need this resistor, so I'm going to skip a gap, and it needs to connect to pin 6. It's that easy. 
let's click up here and switch colors again. The next blue is what's going to fix our capacitor. We need to connect from this connector back to pin 2, just like that. We're going to switch colors again, and this time we've got purple. We're going to go back to pin 4. I'm going to come through here and notice if I get right in the middle, it lets me bend it and bend it, and we're going to connect to pin 8. We're also going to switch colors one more time to pink, and this one, friends, comes from pin 2. Once again, I'm going to get right in the middle of those four pins to bend it and bend it, and this one connects to pin 6. With all that wiring out of the way, let's switch to the color red. And friends, we're going to connect from the positive rail down to this one in pin 8, just like that. Click up in space, switch to your black wire, and we're going to go from the negative rail. I'm going to bend this one up as well, and we're going to come over here to pin 1. All right, everybody, if you have got your wires connected correctly, which it is possible to miss these by a little bit, that's why we did all the color coding. So if you need to fix this, it'll be easier to find. It is time for you to hit start. Friends, when you do, you will have blinking LEDs like you would see at a train station. Now notice they've got a warning. What that means is we've got too much electricity coming through here. So what we're gonna do is hit stop simulation and go down to these resistors because they limit the current and let's make them 400 instead. Click on each one, change it to 400. You do need to make sure that you have stopped this and then started it to reset it. Boom, by changing to 400 ohms, we've gotten rid of that current warning. Now I'm gonna stop it again and friends, this is where it gets pretty cool. If you adjust values, you can change the timing. So watch this, instead of 10, switch it to 20. Make sure you click somewhere else and hit start. And now all of a sudden, it stores a little more electricity so that your blinking lights are at a different speed. Friends, remember if you have any issues where yours doesn't light up, go back and check each wire to make sure that they're in the right spots. You'll be amazed how quickly you'll debug it and have your very own set of working railroad lights because of the sweet 555 timer. Friends, if you were successful building that, fantastic. Don't forget, I do have a lot more tutorials on my website, hlmodtech.com. When you visit it, there is a Tinkercad tab. It does have a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your information, hit send, and reach me almost instantly. On the circuits tab, you will find many other tutorials that you can try out. I do also want to remind you that if you visit the Designer Showcase, you can click on the HL Mod Tech profile. When it first launches, it will show you the 3D designs sorted by likes. I always recommend hitting sorted by latest so you can see the latest cool things, including the latest circuits. Friends, when you do a click on these, don't forget if you think they're pretty cool, give them a reaction. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.